In this video, we'll learn how to use automatic selection commands in Illustrator. There are many ways to select shapes in your Illustrator file. We've already covered making selections with the Selection tool, the Direct Selection tool, and the Layers panel in other videos. We also have the option of using selection commands under Select in the menu bar. I've got the demo file selectiondemo.ai open from this week's demo files, and we'll use this to briefly explore some of the selection commands that we get in the Select menu. Under the Objects submenu, I can search the file for different types of shapes. So for example, I could select all of the clipping masks by clicking that option. And here I can see all those feather shapes for the wing, as well as the foot that we looked at in another video, are all selected. In some cases, a selection might be exactly the shapes we want. In other cases, we might actually want to reverse our selection. So to select everything that's currently not selected and deselect everything that is. So if I wanted everything in the file that wasn't a clipping mask, I could come up to the select menu and click on inverse. So now every shape that's not a clipping mask is selected and all my clipping masks are deselected. To completely clear any existing selection, I can click select deselect and now nothing is selected. In my demo file, I've been working on this wing shape in the upper right corner, and I'd like to change the stroke on each feather shape to something lighter. In my layers panel, I've already got all these shapes inside of a group called wing, and my first idea to change the stroke is just to target that group and set the stroke. But I can see I'm getting this question mark icon in my color picker, and that means that the thing I have selected doesn't actually have a stroke property. Looking at the contents of that group in the layers panel, I can see that most of the shapes are clipping groups that enclose the different colors inside of each feather. And they're the reason that I can't directly set this stroke. Instead of each clipping group, I actually want to target the individual clipping paths inside each group. So let's go ahead and clear that selection by clicking Select, Deselect, then I'll target one of the clipping paths inside my clipping group. And now I can see in my color picker a stroke and a fill attribute that I could actually change. So I could certainly go through the layers one by one, target each clipping path, and change the stroke, or hold down Command or Control on my keyboard and select multiple clipping paths, but of course that's very tedious. Instead, I'll use a selection command to cut out a lot of that work. So to start, I just need to select one shape that has the appearance attribute that I'm interested in. So in this case, it's the stroke color. So I'll target this clipping path, and I can see it has that black stroke color assigned to it. Now I'll come up to the Select menu and click on Same. This gives me options for making selections based on what's currently selected. So I could look for anything that has the same fill color, opacity, and so on. In this case, I want to click Stroke Color. And now I can see Illustrator has searched through all of the layers and sublayers in my file and targeted just the clipping paths that have that black stroke. Uh, maybe let's bring up a swatch and I'd like this to be a little bit lighter, maybe something like this. And now I can clear my selection. And looking at this, I think I'd still like something even lighter. So to change the color again, I need to reselect all of that artwork. And here I could use that tedious route of going through the layers panel that we just covered, or I could simply click select, reselect from the menu bar. And that brings up whatever the last selection was. So let's change the stroke to something lighter. And I think that's looking much better. Now I'm pretty sure at some point I'll want to change that stroke color again. And as I keep working and making other selections elsewhere in my file, I won't always be able to easily jump back to those shapes using reselect. So it makes sense to actually save out the selection so that I can always jump back to it with just a couple clicks. So let's bring it back up by clicking select, reselect from the menu bar. Then again, under the select menu, I'll click on save selection. So I can give this a name, I'll call this feathers, then click OK. And now I can see in my select menu, I can jump right to that selection anytime just by clicking on it. If I want to delete or rename a save selection, I can click on select, edit selection, and make changes here as I need to. Okay, that's an overview of how to use automatic selection commands in Illustrator.